Okay, question two here. We're given a shape, but it looks like it's made up of a quadrilateral, four-sided shape stuck onto a triangle. And for part A, we're asked to mark with arrows a pair of parallel lines. Now, just to remind you what parallel lines are, I'll draw you parallel lines, something like that. Now, parallel lines in on the flat page are two lines that are the same distance apart all the way along. Sometimes you're told that they never cross or they'll never meet. Okay, so that's what we're thinking of parallel lines. We've got a look along here, at all the possible lines, and which two fit the bill there. Well, I'm just going to just show you uh, which two sort of fit that bill. You know, can you see any two that will do that? Well, I can, and for me, these two kind of fit the bill. Let's have a look. Can you see that this line here and this line here are kind of parallel like the two I've drawn? So I'm going to mark in my arrows like that. They're the only pair of parallel lines I can find on that diagram. Then we're asked to measure the length of RT. So let's label R to T is R here to T here, and we have to measure that length. So all we've got to do is make sure we have the ruler in the exam and get the ruler out, and let's measure it. Putting zero uh, on the ruler, make sure it's zero and not here. Uh, a little mistake that you can do under pressure in the exam, put the zero here, and we're measuring that, and it's about eight centimeters. Okay, so be as accurate as you can, but here it's eight centimeters, so I'm gonna write eight for that. What type of angle is angle X? Now, I'm just going to take a second to tell you the different types of angles you need to learn for this. Um, here are the different type of angles. There's that angle. There's that type of angle. There's that type of angle. That type of angle. And lastly, um, something like this. So I'm going to show you what I mean here. There's this angle, an angle less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. An angle that is 90 degrees, we give it that symbol and we call it a right angle. An angle that is more than 90 degrees but less than 180, which would be a straight line, well that's called an obtuse angle. Obviously this is a straight line, This is, I'm trying to show you here that this angle here is 180 degrees, just by comparison, and an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees, like that for example, has a name and it's called reflex. So they're the angles you need to know for this exam. Which one is angle X here? Well clearly you can see that that must be an acute angle. So do learn those words up there and measure the size of angle Y. So let's get the protractor out. We're going to get our protractor and Put, uh, if we're measuring angle Y, make sure you put the center point of your protractor right on the corner there. Now, we've got to be a little bit careful here. Some people make a mistake and they measure, always measure from the inside and they'd say that angle is about 55. It's not true. You've got to measure, um, you've got to measure from the zero on the straight line from which you're measuring. So here's zero, we're measuring on the outer scale here. And if you look along to where we meet this line, to me it looks like 124 degrees. So I'm going to write 124, and the degree sign is done for me anyway, so we're done.